One question I get all the time is, what's the quickest, easiest, low cost way to create an intro video? Now, this is one of the ways that I created that is super simple, it's called Majesto. I do play for, pay for the premium version. However, you can get away with this with just using the free one. You're basically gonna take some images and a couple videos, throw them together and let this app do its thing. Now, if you do wanna learn a little bit more about Majesto, I will put a link in the description box so you can see a previous promo video I did. For now, you would want to log in or create an account if you don't have one. I'm gonna use my Facebook account. You'll most likely be prompted to authorize this, but for me, I've already done that. Okay, notice that there is an App Store and Google Play download. The apps actually have more features. I started by using the apps, now they have a de desktop version as well as this online version at Majesto.com. So I'm just gonna create a movie. If you have movies that are uploaded, you can use it, um, you can use ones that you already have. It does give you albums, you can create blogs, things like that. These are all different areas that you can use, but we're gonna focus directly on uploading videos. Notice that Google Drive is an option. It gives you the, uh, the actual steps down here. You add videos and photos choose a theme and choose a soundtrack. Now it does allow you to create, to use your own music, but be very cautious about that because both YouTube and Facebook will um, get you for copyright infringement if you're using copyrighted um, songs. So I'm gonna go ahead and select files. I'm gonna use some of my YouTube videos. I keep all my completed ones in a completed folder. So I'm just gonna basically select a few of them now again if you don't have the premium version you will only be able to upload a certain amount of videos and some of my videos are a little bit too long so it won't be uploading those notice the limit is 25 minutes so it's probably gonna give me a couple other ones okay so we're just gonna use these I'm also going to add some photos I keep my thumbnails and graphics in a different folder so I can upload my different thumbnails from my page. And I just noticed it's only letting me do one at a time. So I'm gonna have to, oh actually it does have the control key. So I uploaded, I'm gonna upload a, quite a few um, here. Again, I just held down my control key to create, um, to select multiple pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and add other files while it's doing that. Okay, after you have all of your items uploaded, you'll see that I have here pictures, videos, things like that. You're gonna wanna select a style. So I'm gonna click on select editing style. And depending on what kind of style you want, I'm just gonna click on play to actually give me a preview of this one. Right, and they have different options. It's you. Okay, one thing I am going to tell you is if you want a lot of words, um, so you're talking over it, there's one that's called Reporter or something, Storyteller. A lot of your, if you have like one video and a lot of images it will kind of tell your story get it so um and when you play it i'm just gonna pause as soon as it plays it will tell you over here have a story to share record a 30 second video speaking to the camera blah 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 okay so i'm actually gonna do i feel lucky and see which one it adds you're gonna type your title Now again, I'm doing this as like a channel welcome. You can do this for a promo, something for an upcoming um, webinar. I use this on Instagram. Okay, so it tells you your editing style, your soundtrack, and your title. A couple of things, um, when you're on your phone, it gives you more options as, as far as how long it will be. So you can say, make this for Instagram, make it one minute, make it three minutes, etc. 
um, on the desktop apps, I notice it doesn't really give you those options. So I'll come back after this is finished. Okay, so my video is now ready. Notice it does say draft. One thing that I skipped is I did not select my own music because I did, um, I think, Feeling Lucky or whatever the option was, it selected uh, music for me. So when you're in draft mode, you can go through and you can actually edit things that don't look right. But I'm actually going to click on here. Um, and before I start that, let me show you. These are from my phone. So if you have Majesto on your phone, if you have videos or pictures, it will automatically create um, videos based on that day. But we're gonna go ahead and go here. I'm gonna click on it and let's see how my video looks. It actually looks pretty good. So I already have a welcome video, but I might actually replace it with this. Roll through additional filters. That way you people know that you can actually select text and you actually select the color from your right hand side. And there. Okay. So um, I'm going to spare you the rest of the details. Basically what you would do is you would select keep it or a new edit and you can go um, through and make your edits. One of the things I want to point out is if you want to pay, I believe it's $99 a year. I have the, the lower upgrade, but the business one actually allows you to add your watermarks and things like that. I might check that out a little bit later, but I'm going to go ahead and keep this. You can make these public or private. This is another social media outlet. So basically, you can put it on your timeline. Again, another way to advertise. So you can do that. And then you're going to want to either download it and or embed it somewhere. I'm just going to go ahead and download it. Um, notice that you can do YouTube. But because I would like to upload, I'm going to have this a little bit different. So I'm going to go ahead and download and then upload it to YouTube. To add your video for your new users, the first thing you're going to want to do is upload your video. So I just clicked upload in the top right hand corner. You can drag and drop or if you have downloads, I just created this video. Now, I had my description already waiting. I'm just going to put that in the title here. I'm going to say Socially Nina's Channel Welcome Video. Now, you can make this unlisted and then put it over there for now. I'm just going to publish it now. You can put your keywords in here. You should treat it like a regular... video you'll most likely and you won't see these but you'll most likely want to create some kind of thumbnail um, and but for now we're gonna go ahead and skip that part while this is uploading I'm just gonna make sure I'm gonna copy this go back to my channel do not want that as a thumbnail so let's we'll just save that for now so you want to create a custom thumbnail I am going to go back to my channel And for new visitors, I am going to remove the trailer. So this is how yours usually will most likely look. I'm going to go ahead and create custom trailer. I am going to select the new one I just created. Again, you're going to want to do a custom thumbnail, but we'll leave this as is. It pulls in the description that I have, so you should be good there. And that's how you create a welcome video.